Hello and welcome to another Division video. Yes, from my previous run on Amherst with the Hunter Space build I got the request to show you my build I was using there and usually I don't do any more build videos because I did them already but because I got the request I will show you quickly the setup I was using in this run. So let's get straight into the build here. As you see it's a six piece Hunter Space and yes I will talk a little bit as well about the differences between sentry and hunters at the end of this video. But first of all I'll show you my setup really quickly and tell you as well the changes you can do on this build so you don't have to run the same exact setup like I do here. So you see here as an overview I run almost every gear piece into firearms except the knee pads, it doesn't matter which one, but to have a little bit more toughness because yeah especially Amherst, the shotgun will stay hit pretty hard and you're almost one shot if you don't have anything into stamina. So that's the reason why I don't run full firearms build on this one here. And yes, this is uh, especially for the solo run. In a group run this works as well. But of course if you have a healer then you can go full damage and then you can change the knee pads to firearms as well. But for a group play I definitely would prefer sentry but as I said I'll talk about this a little bit later. So the chest you see here it's rolled into health, enemy armor damage and demo capacity. Enemy armor damage just to increase the damage a little bit more against the NPCs. You could change this stat here into skill haste as well. Skill haste is really important for me especially if I play solo because it means you have much higher survivability. Uh, yeah, you get the ult back much faster, you get the skills back much faster, so that's why I like to have high skill haste on the solo builds I run. So this is the chest piece, the mods I'm using is skill haste and firearms, that's why skill haste. Then the mask is rolled into enemy armor damage and damage to leads in firearms, same mod here as well. Of course for PV you always try to max out EAD and DTE, so enemy armor damage and damage to leads. The knee pads I have here with health, stem, bleed burn and damage to elites. Yeah, damage to elites the most important one. And the same mod on this one here. As a performance mod I use here sticky bomb explosion radius because I run this setup with a flashbang. Flashbang works for me pretty great. In PV it doesn't matter if in a group setup or solo. So this is really awesome. And yeah, let's be honest, there is not very better mods for the performance mod slots from uh, at least from my point of view and then let's go ahead to the holster nothing yeah, surprisingly here so maxed out all over the board with skill haste and the same mod of course as well <clears throat> then the gloves rolled into firearms skill haste marksman rifle damage and enemy armor damage and yet that setup changes of course if you run this for pvp for pvp you try to max out crit chance and crit damage instead of ead and dte that's the main difference then the backpack i run here is on firearms skill power ammo capacity you have different options for major attributes to be honest uh, so you don't have to run skill power i don't know why but i just like to be a little bit higher than 88k to have a little bit stronger heal a little bit shorter cooldowns not much but just a little you could roll this into uh, health as well or you could even roll it into stability because of the secondary I use here, you will see later the LMG is not that stable. But yeah, you could roll this into stability as well. So stability, skill power or health would be viable options. And for PvP, uh, crit damage of course. The mods the same as before, so I don't talk about them much more. Then the custom M44 I use on this build. So you, one thing you have to know, so I, I don't go over the details of the Hunter's Face build. You can read the stats by yourself. But the most important thing is you get stacks for headshots, 30% more damage and 15% for body shots. And this just works with marksman rifle damage like the M44 and the Carbon M700. So as an example, if you use a semi-automatic one, then you don't get the stack. So this don't work, these guns don't work with Hunter's Face. And that's a major difference between Sentry and Hunter's Face. 
So the, the main weapon I use on this build is the M44. I personally li like the M44 a little bit better. I can't say why exactly, but the handling and everything else, I just feel more comfortable with this one. But the Carbon M700 would be pretty good as well, of course. The talents, you have to look what you can unlock on this build. And this is Prepare, Brutal and Destructive. Yeah, you could even go, to be honest, for instead of prepared for ferocious and roll one gear piece into electronics as well. I tried this setup too, but I didn't have the right talent and I didn't have enough at this point. Um, Phoenix credits to reroll my talent here, brutal to ferocious. But ferocious, of course, would work pretty well too. And you have more skill power as well. So better heal, faster cooldowns as well. So this setup would work pretty well too. And destructive for PV, that's one of the best talents you can get, in my opinion. The mods is nothing stra is straightforward, let's say it this way. Headshot all over the board, reload speed on the underbarrel, and max size, reload speed. Yeah, not too important for PV, to be honest. For PvP, a little bit a different side of you. Then as a secondary, as you will see in the gameplay, I use this baby here, the M249. And yeah, the, the main reason for the 249, to be honest, is just this one was on sale at the vendor. I didn't have a good LMG on this character. And that was the easiest way to get one. But as, I was really surprised, to be honest, about this gun here. It worked pretty well. And the main reason I run this gun here is the big max size. If the shot is rush you, they are usually not alone. And if you have to reload with an SMG or an assault rifle, assault rifle of course would be the best choice. But if you have to reload an assault rifle, it takes a while and you can get shot in the back pretty fast or in front. So that's why I like to have a big max size so you can really just hold down the trigger and uh, spray and pray or whatever the name is for this one here. So that's why the talents are not the best ones. Uh, I would prefer to have a different talent instead of prepared. Probably uh, responsive, no, responsive doesn't work on an LMG, but brutal would be better and uh, destructive. Or if you run one piece into electronics, you could even run it with destructive, ferocious and predatory. Predatory, of course, to get a little bit of heal back when you get rushed and overwhelmed by the NPCs. So this is a really good choice for me at least. Then the mods for this baby is a little bit special probably because it's pretty unstable at least on console. I use here stability mods and that's why I said before you can run even stability on the backpack as well. As well. The other mods are not too important. You could even run headshot damage on the scope as well. But as I said, they are not too important at least for me for PvE. Yeah, this is my secondary, but of course it doesn't matter which uh, LMG you use, you could use the big alley, you could use the M60, they are pretty viable as well. I wouldn't use the big alley or the M50, MG5, sorry, on this build because they have lower max sizes and yet that's the huge advantage you get if you run these uh, this different variations of an LMG here. So this is already it about the build. Let's go quickly to the character sheet that you see the stats here as well. But of course with the sniper, that's the main gun here. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, come on, weapon damage, That's I don't care about this one here. Headshot, it's pretty good of course. Then accuracy, doesn't matter too much about this stats. Damage to elites is important, enemy armor damage is important. Uh, skill power, skill haste. As you see, I don't have it on the chest, otherwise I would have 40%. So this is a really good option as well. And yeah, because probably you ask yourself why I don't run damage to elites. Main reason, you have low stats, first one. And the second one, yeah, for Amherst it would work if you have just elites. But yes, you lose 15% skill haste. And as I said, for me, skill haste, especially if I play it solo, then this is more important because of the survivability, but of course you could increase the damage. So in a group setup, then you can definitely change these mods out for damage to elite mods as well. Final one, let's go quickly to the talents and abilities. So as I said before, I run this with a flashbang. The radius is pretty huge, 7.3 meters and 50%, uh, 50%, 50 meters develop deployment range that's huge in my opinion and cooldown about 30 seconds works pretty well and this is really awesome because they stand still and you can land your shots pretty easy although you have a kind of potato aim like I do have sometimes especially with snipers on the console and I changed my settings a little bit lately so that's why yeah 
Uh, side note, and as a second skill I use the support mod, uh, life support, just if I get downed I have the chance to get revived with this one here, but if you're comfortable enough you could run just booster shot of course, or whatever you like, or even pulse, doesn't matter too much. As a solo player I definitely uh, take recovery link, especially with such a squishy build, and the talents I use on this one here is crit save and strike back, just in a uh, situation where I get low health, if you get overwhelmed by shotties or whatever, then this is works really really well. Then one is none, because it's a sniper build, you try to aim for the head, you try to, and then you don't spend your bullets, and that's th th this is really awesome. So this is really awesome for almost every sniper build except that I. And precision, yeah, instead of a pulse I run precision to increase the damage furthermore on the NPCs. This one you could swap out definitely if you want to and yeah you could on the move probably is not that viable because you're not that much on the move as a sniper build but steady hands this works pretty well too uh, if you need more stability or attack advance if you're used to do cover to cover but this uh, setup works the best for me so this is already it about the hunter's face build then let's talk quickly about the differences between sentry skull and hunter's face so Sentry Skull, to be honest, is my preferred choice overall. My preferred choice for solo and for group play. <coughs> Here see quickly the stats uh, for my hunters uh, for my Sentry, sorry. It's almost the same except one piece is into electronics or the mods, like you say here. And so I have one piece into STEM and the mods into electronics and the rest into firearms. The reason is just to unlock specific talents like uh, uh, like ferocious or competent. Competent is not that important here, but I had ferocious instead of brutal for this one. So that was this was the main reason. And to have a higher skill power, better cooldowns, better heals, and yeah, it works pretty well. And the differences here is if you have a sniper equipped, you know this probably already, so you get the stacks as you see over the head of this dummy here. And these stacks you can get with the marksman rifle, you can get the stacks with an urban. And I do really, really like the urban with this build, to be honest, because you can spam the f shots pretty fast and you have really, really high max size. So this works pretty well, and as you see, the the the, sta uh, the stats the stacks spread out to the other NPCs as well, and you have increased damage. So in the end, for a single target, you need probably two or three shots more, but the other targets are already marked, and you can kill them faster than before. So this is why I do prefer this. And the second reason, yes, you can get the stacks faster because it works with a semi-automatic as well, and it works with the urban mdr2 so usually i run this setup with the urban and a marksman rifle so just get the stacks quickly with the urban spam the shots pretty quickly as you can and then if you have a, a boss or whatever then you can just change to the marksman rifle damage and you have a really really high damage so i don't go over the stats here as well you can read them by yourself the setup is pretty much the same as you see here on the chest and on the mods so I run almost every time the same setup for my builds. And the urban just quickly, I just took the first one. So there are different talents as well. But as I said, I don't talk too much about Sentry. For me personally, the better build for PvE. For PvP, Hunter's Face would be better because you don't benefit about the stacks. But for a sniper build, then definitely Dada is the best for PvP in my opinion. So I do really hope this was useful for you, you enjoyed the video, thanks a lot for your likes, thanks a lot for your comment, have a pleasant day, see you in the next one, take care, bye bye, catch you later.